name's Fred Grisgrabber. Uh, I lived there when I was three, so back in 1993, four time frame. There's been a lot of good times, really. It's kind of like camp, so it's fun over there for the most part. Uh, going to Joe's Pond was always fun, uh, just going swimming. Um, as far as exploring in the house, because it's kind of a weird house, and it's kind of with the garage, well, the garage area. It's kind of cool. And um, the floors are all sideways and crickety, and it's just kind of cool. It's like an old barn house boat. Uh, we went fishing on Joe's Pond with the boat. There might have been Uncle Bruce's boat, I don't remember. But I remember I was really little, and we caught, caught like a whole pail of fish. That was like when we lived there. So that was a long time ago. But I just remember that, being on the boat, catching fish. I can even tell you the spot on Joe's Pond where we were. But um, that was cool. I mean, that was one of my first fishing on a boat experiences I can remember. So. My name is Christine grisgrabber Fiorini. The year 94 to 95, I lived in the house in Cabot for that whole year. Um, because we were moving here to Vermont from Connecticut. And I had been going to that house before that for vacations or visits since maybe 1983. There were, you know, a few little weird incidences in the house. They could, maybe they could be explained away. Maybe not. Sometimes it was just a feeling, you know, a feeling like you're not there by yourself. Even though there's no houses around, um, there's no houses on that road on either side, but you feel like you're not alone. If I ever had any supernatural activity going on while I was at the house, living there or not, um, yes, both on the same night. Um, we had a space heater in the living room to try and stay warm. We did it in the winter time, and I nailed up a blanket covering the hole um, or the door frame that was going to upstairs and I nailed it up and out of nowhere it just fell didn't hear a rip nothing just it fell and we had a tape player and we put in the Blair Witch Project go figure scary movie I guess and um, we put a tape into it and it kept ejecting the tape for some reason um, and then the TV would shut off, turn on, so would the VCR, just wouldn't stay on. Um, and that's when the blanket fell, was when the VCR was acting up. The legends or rumors that I've, had, I've heard of this house, um, the biggest thing is someone hung themselves upstairs. It was interesting because that's where the blanket fell, was the access to upstairs. Legend, or what really I think is true according to the family, is that some guy hung himself in the bottom upstairs because, I don't know, he couldn't afford his taxes or he's going to lose his house. Probably the biggest incident was just the time when the microwave turned on by itself and melted the back of it when I was sleeping in the bedroom with little Freddy. And that was a little spooky. I mean, it was just kind of strange. Um, I remember, like, it smoking and it just stunk in the house and... Um, so that, you know, it's kind of weird. Just turned on by itself and melted the back of it. times when there's electrical storms and the the electric the the current comes in through the pipes right into the kitchen you know and it has left black marks on the back of the sink and I don't know if that's is that something connected to something from somewhere else beyond the grave a couple things. One was upstairs, just um, noises that I always thought were squirrels, but then, you know, squirrel noises are different, and so 
I started thinking it, but I didn't really ever say anything because I know people would say I was nuts. <laughs> so I never really said anything. People hearing creaking or something like that, which it's an old house, but I guess, you know, they hug themselves, so I guess you could hear creaking from a rope, I don't know. I just have one story that your dad could probably tell you um, about things his mom had seen about her like seeing a face when she opened her a trunk you know like a blanket trunk and seeing a face and she um a couple other incidences i guess happened and she wouldn't go back to the house anymore and knowing her you know she's not really a superstitious person she's pretty she was a level-headed person um but that one thing she just wouldn't go back to the house anymore That's a monster right there. The monster! <laughs> Stir and try to give me a heart attack. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Oh my god. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> you stop? Earthquake! You... Earthquake! Chris, belongs to the school, can you not? Shut up. <laughs>